Sorry, can I go over the file in this process? Um, a couple of things strike me. First of all, you're obviously not very happy about getting arrested, and I don't blame you. I'm not saying it should or not, but I don't think anyone would like that. But you were here today just regarding a prophecy evaluation. You know, you never had a hearing. Um, no, there was no hearing of the prophecy evaluation. Right, so let's, deal, let's deal with that right now, okay? Because that's all you're here for today. Now, was the prophecy evaluation without, the prophecy here without an evaluation? Is that no, 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 no. The state requested that you have this evaluation. Um, yes. But well, let's get to that. You, right. you, did, uh, you, you objected to well, I had it already stroken down and then denied, so then he put it you, forward. You objected to that. Yeah, I already had it denied on the 7th, but then you, you know, put back there and then you come back. never had a hearing on that, right? Um, no, there was no hearing. That's so where let's deal with that. Let's deal with that right now. Well, you know, it seems a little time unprepared. You object to having the evaluation. Oh, I would 100% object to having the evaluation. But see, I feel like I should get more than two weeks' notice and know that it is. So I believe we should set up another hearing to go over those matters. I don't really study the case law, and I'll just wrap it out. And I think that's only fair appropriate. And to the guys, this I believe was for continuous for the evaluation which the friends of Xander put forward. And I must admit, this is kind of a nightmare. So she put that forward. Hold on. Can you, can you hold on. Let, let's go well, I'm just trying to squeeze it out the time I can, because you can imagine how much things I have to say about this, and I have a feeling I'm not really going to get it out just like the point of the evaluation. Well, I mean, well, we all like all of admit uh, me. The juror standard prosecute me by being the only alleged victim in this case. Clearly, did not meet the juror standard, and the judge has been had to force down off the juror standard. I put that forward in a five page motion, and guess what? Corrado, he gets 13 days to respond, but he simply says, I consider 100% perjury that there's no conflict of interest, and clearly there's a conflict of interest. And I would say, Corrado is either too corrupt or incompetent to prosecute him, besides the juror standard. You say in here repeatedly in Going to get Are you getting an attorney? Well, Your Honor, you know, I was really something I was trying to shovel to, but here's the issue. So basically, um, there's been some money tampering going on. You can hear the report and straight up Brookline or Sonic Hall say, let's let's call the parents in and see what they'll do. So basically my parents said they were gonna buy my parents said they were gonna buy this lawyer, they kind of backtracked. Now I was gonna put in the very beginning of March all these things, say I was doing proceed, ask for a team what's on this matter, but we do 100 percent ready to give the Office of Federal Examiner 14 days notice and 14 days for the evaluation. Now the Office of Federal Examiner refuses to communicate with them. Well, I'm trying to get some other things out of it. I understand. We'll get to it. I mean, I'm not sure if we will get to it. I'm not sure if I can have a trial at this point because I fired Pam Jones or someone else, so I'm denied a trial based on case law out of the 60s, which is completely unfounded. That's why I had it denied the first time. No problem if you put it in behind my back. Now, I would like to know why are the clerk putting in paperwork directly you guys on the back and I have to wait 10 days to it. Uh, I guess not. Looks like I'm proceeding pro se. Hold on. How about class A? Well, there's class A's and class B's back on class A's, so sure. Correct. The fact right now is it's a class A. That stops you entitled to have an attorney in the court. Oh, I do not want an attorney for the state. After what Pam Jones did, there's no way I want an attorney. Even the public defenders before that, I only want one off that. I'm going to great detail about that. So you want to represent the state? I have no choice. Well, I mean, the public, let's, let's put it up. So when I come up here and I say, I want a speedy trip jury trial. Now, when I say I want a speedy jury trial, it was by way of trial to memo, and it's the most pure form of the context of misdemeanors, which is Rule 21A1. Do you understand? And why do I want Rule 21A1? Why should I be allowed to that? One, I want a speedy trial. I want a speedy jury trial. And I want to get to that stage two. Karate doesn't meet the jury standards. He's really big them. And I really don't want to care to deal with any of it. To be frankly honest, I that means within my right. Now, when I say that, and then we get two arraignments, and I'm left in limbo with no lawyer for a month because I signed up with the public defender. The only reason I signed up with the public defender was because of witness tampering when he sick my mother on me. You filed a motion requesting an office evaluation of Mr. Walker. You explained why. I never had a hearing. Well, I'm trying to jam you through. They don't want me to speak. They don't silence me. I have complaints, and I've been arrested for complaints. Objection. It is actually for a continuance. 
that I would like to schedule another time to deal with this. I would like full time to prepare, get all the case law in, and wrap it out, because that is my right. I want due process, not whatever he feels is necessary based on his whims, because he's trying to deny my complaints. I mean, honestly, I mean, I see the trial thing, that's not a problem. That's not a big deal. I was ready to do jury trial myself, write my own 30 page appeal, and I figured I could appeal up and up and up. Why? Because what do we have? Freedom of speech. Both. Right? What else do we have? The right to process. Both. We did not have Article 8, the denial of Article 14 in the hands of the Constitution. Right. And shall I continue? I mean, let's look at perjury just simply with the fact that he says there's no conflict of interest of that five page I put forward about that. Let's think about official oppression. If I'm going to make complaints for it, and they refuse to accept them, that's official compression. Oppression. How long has this been going on for? He doesn't want me to have trial because I'll go get my phone records. I'll go prove these things. And throw it out there, I spent an hour on the phone with the National FBI. I wonder what I was talking about. You know? I wonder. I wonder what we were talking about, huh? There's been a lot of new developments in the state, you know? By the end of the month, things are going to kind of change over. So as much time as possible. Because, you know, the more time things change over, the more we'll be able to slam it down. Because that's the bottom line, is that they're denying the law. Right? Now let's go over Article 14 real quick. Yeah, we're not going over Article 14. Are you sure we can exclude it right on the set? We're not going over Article Oh, I'm sure you guys do not want to go over Article 14 with me in one minute, do you? Then clearly I'm not legally incompetent. Even saying I'm illegally incompetent is a crime. Is a crime. And we all know that. That's what poor room knows. I'm not legally incompetent. I'm one of the more legally competent people in the state. I can use the corporate hail pro se. How, who does that? Who does that? So me. No one does that. Proclaiming me legally competent means you can proclaim anybody legally competent. Stop. How many people are sitting here? They don't want us to get with you. Lots of people. Yeah. What is it? It is not too bad. It is. If they don't want to listen to it, and I'm going to have to speak to defend myself. So apparently, that is too bad. We'll give you a continuance so you can do your legal research. That's fine. Is that your How much time was my question? Uh, 30 days from today, 30 days from today, we'll see what you're going to do. And then that will be to go over and be. No, but here's some funny stuff. No, no, no. No, simply, is this to go over the relevance of the competency evaluation of that we're going to do 30 days? We're not going to make anything today. We're going to continue it and have a hearing in the afternoon on Monday. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank I'm back there. We'll give you the hearing. Up. All right. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for being a little riled up. I was saying I'm not directing that at you. Thank you. Very much. That's fine, Mr. Ross. I, I want to make sure you understand what's going on and you get an attorney that may be back. Oh, no, no, no. I don't need any attorney to uh, join their swap. Fair enough. Sir. You guys should do research on what happened to Tamworth when I huffed. And I, I huffed. Do you mail you the hearing notice? Um, sure. 